we basically first look at everybody and say, what happens to people that have a high protein versus people that have a low protein diet? And if you look at the entire lifespan, you see absolutely nothing. It looks like it uh, doesn't matter. And then if you break it down 65 and younger, 65 and older, then you see a big effect, right? So the 65 and younger, they have a low protein diet. They have a big, big reduction in the risk of developing, of dying of cancer, and also a big reduction in the risk of dying of any cause. But then as we were, the database went to the 70, 80, 90 year olds that turned around. And this is probably when you look at everybody, you don't see anything. Meaning that the 80 year old reporting a low protein intake wasn't doing so well at all. And now that group probably in included people that were sick and frail and yeah, lots of problems. So that doesn't necessarily mean that an 80-year-old could not have a relatively low protein intake if this person was exercising and was doing training, et cetera, et cetera. But I say overall in the United States, the people that were interviewed, they were not doing very well if they said, I have a very low protein diet.